So if you're in your pipeline and you're doing your job, right, and you start getting all these warning notifications and other processes on permissions, that's the permission on your bucket, right? So if you see this, right, if you get this error, error notifications that permissions were wrong, then that means everyone needs to be able to read right to your bucket. So you have to give permissions to everyone for list, view, blah, blah, blah. Everything but modify the bucket, right? So if you did that and you... If, if you did this, I'm... And it's still coming up with that warning. Then I'm going to kill it. Kill it? And we'll let you start all over again from scratch awesome. because it's going to read the first time it goes through. It's going to say, oh, the permissions weren't set. Right, so it's gonna go, okay, then I can't do this then. So if you guys wanna kill off your process, right, you're free to kill off your own process if you want. But again, you need to make sure that everyone can go through and do what they need to do with this. But it looks like everyone needs to go back to their bucket and make sure that everyone can read, write, and do what they need to do. Screen cap that for me. And go ahead and feel free to send it to me as the TIFF file too. You don't need to down convert. That's an interesting error. Um, open it up here. Transcoder default row. Permissions, error notifications. That's just a warning though. Yeah. So check and see if it actually downloaded into your box. You may or may not be able to write as an output to my bucket. You would want you can read from my bucket. That's not a problem. But if it but you can't output to my bucket because I'm bad like that. Yeah, I just send it to my email. Yep. Yep. So, but that's just a warning though, it's not killing it. So it's still not dead yet. Well, it just all depends on what we've got going. It's all the same thing. So you just got to make sure that your rolls fit with what you've got cooking. Huh? Yeah. So if, you're, if your thing is, is hooked, right, and you don't have it going quite right, um, you may not have permissions in the output bucket to my bucket, right, which is why I really recommend you put the output into your own bucket that you actually have permissions for, right? So what instead of using mine as both input and output, use mine as the input, but use yours as the output because then that will help solve problems in terms of the, some of the permission things you're getting at. Yes, sir. Yep. And then do I just delete yours or? No, you want to do the, no, you do not want to do my bucket. You want to do yours. Just save it. Save it. All right. In your input bucket, do you have a movie in your input bucket? Yes. You, the input bucket, the one with movies, has to be mine. The output bucket has to be yours. All right, you got that. Yeah. Notifications. Oh, that's what I did not All right, so you don't. So you've got no notifications. You're good there. All right, so create pipeline. All right, so. All right, so no, then hold on, and then wait and see for it to come back up again. All right, because we have too many people in here right now. Hold on, please. Let me turn off the video, and I will help you out. I am in the middle of teaching another class now would absolutely not be appropriate. 